here we are again. And something different going on here today. I got some stuff ah, in the mail that came today. Uh, a, uh, a radio. It's not a regular broadcast band radio. It's actually an aircraft receiver. Why did I get it? I don't know. It's a different radio. Uh, I like different stuff. It is a tube radio. Uh, I don't know. It's probably around... Oh, I would say probably late 50s, early 60s, somewhere around there. Uh, chubby, could you get off so I can show the nice people the radio? Okay? Huh? Here, you get down for a second. Ah. Anyhow, I just came today. I think I paid 31 bucks plus shipping for it. And... Chubby! Stop! Lay down. There. And uh, the tube lineup is the only thing that's on the bottom. And it's got it right there. Tommy, stop. And uh, that's about it. Uh, it is really heavy. So, and I am not going to plug it in. At least not this time. Until after I check it out. Come here. Come on. Come on. He's going to sit there and bark the whole time if I don't pick him up. Alright. And then also in the mail. What did I get? Somebody ripped out a, a set of switches out of a Cessna. So here it is. I got it. And a whole bunch of little switches. I think it was like seven bucks altogether. It wasn't all that expensive, but uh, put it with my avionics collection. And uh, oh yes, and I did. Makes it kind of rough with this dog. <laughs> Say your dog. Oh, here he goes again. I did wire up the banana jacks for this, so this does work. And. Uh, Let's see if I got something there. Uh, what's it saying to me? It's saying one. No, that's what we got it on. We got it on ohms. Yeah. Uh, 2,000 volt ohm scale. It's reading one. Of course, I don't have any of the hook to it at all. So, uh, but I have checked it out and it does work fine. Uh, all right, come back up here, dog. So I don't know um, who the, well, it says it's a Novatech. I have no idea. It's a, it does have the model number. Uh, model number 711-AN. And uh, the guy I got it from is actually in Alaska. So apparently uses for a bushcraft radio uh, for listening at home or whatever. And... Uh, so that's what it was used for. It does have some scratches and nicks and stuff like that on it. But, uh, so I've got to go ahead and i got to open it up and I'll check it out. But I'll do that in another video. Huh. Huh, Chubby? What do you think? We're going to do it in another video? If he lets, lets me alone so I don't have to keep holding him the whole time. And then, uh, oh yes, on October 5th I should have a... A visitor coming uh, who's also on YouTube should be here. I won't tell you who it is. Won't be probably till later when you guys will probably find out. Uh, so anyhow, for right now, that's what we're going to do until I open this thing up and take a good look at it before I turn it on. Because, of course, last time I, I, I opened stuff up, you know, it was the tubes are rattling around in it. Well, this one's not rattling at all, so it's not making any noise. So I'm assuming that he had packed it really well, so I'm assuming it's not going to come apart on me. But anyhow, we'll see later on, after I check this uh, model number and everything out, see if I can find anything on it, uh, then we'll get back to you again. Okay? And that'll be it for now. Say bye, Chubby. 
Say bye. Whoop. Say bye. Say bye. Come on, say bye. Oh, okay. There we go. All right.